In the following video, we are going to build a slow flyer biplane for indoor. We have used Depron sheets with a thickness of 3 mm as the main material. Each sheet is 80 cm long and 25 cm wide, and has a weight of 22 grams. We build the two wing structure, with a vertical offset of 29.5 cm. We use wooden sticks of 3 mm in diameter in order to reinforce the perimeter of the wings, sticks of 4 mm in diameter to build the corner struts, and sticks of 5 mm in diameter to build the two central struts. All joints between sticks are made with sewing thread and cyanoacrylate glue. A triangular structure is created, wiring the diagonals with thread so that the rectangular faces of the parallelopiped do not deform. This led us to achieve rigidity using a minimum quantity of material. The weight of these wings is 95 grams. For the fuselage, we use a 4 mm diameter fiberglass rod, bought in a curtain shop. These rods are usually used to mount the folding blinds. They are sold at a price of about 40 cents per meter. These rods have a linear density of 23.5 grams per meter. Our rod has a length of 123 centimeters. The buckling of the rod is suppressed by anchoring it to the wings, using threads. Next, we mount the stabilizers and the rudders on the tail. The horizontal stabilizer is 50 cm long and 15.5 cm wide. The elevator has a width of 10 cm. The vertical stabilizer is 30 cm high and 25 cm wide. The rudder has a width of 8 cm. The distance from the leading edge of the wing to the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer is 50 cm, the equivalent of twice the wing cord. The structure with the tail already mounted, but without ailerons and without the electronics, has a weight of 175 grams. To motorize the plane, we use a brushless motor F10820. We mount a propeller 5 inches in diameter and 5 inches in pitch. The battery is 3 cells and 500 milliamp power. The ESC is 12 amps. The servos are 3.7 grams. This set provides a maximum thrust of about 300 grams without exceeding the maximum electrical current recommended by the manufacturer. The weight of the first motorized version is 301 grams. The wing area is 0.4 square meters. The wing loading is 0.75 kilograms per square meter. The center of gravity is quite aft. 15.5 cm from the leading edge of the wing, which corresponds to 62% of the wing cord. The thrust to weight ratio is almost 1. We observed a little resistance to yawing to the left. This is due not only to the small area of the rudder, but also to the effect of the torque of the propeller. Therefore, we later changed to a twin motor setup in order to increase the lateral stability of the airplane. It is also noted that we have to pull the elevator a lot, therefore, we should increase the decalage of the horizontal stabilizer. In fact, the reason why the center of gravity is so apt is just the lack of decalage. In the new version, a cross support has been mounted to support the twin engine configuration. The horizontal offset between both motors is 28 cm. We added new threads in the back to increase the tail decalage. This let us to move the center of gravity forward, at 11 cm from the leading edge of the wing. In a typical aerodynamic airfoil, the lift force changes its position as the angle of attack of the wing changes. However, in the flat profiles the lifting force is always located in the very center of the surface. In a rectangular wing, the berry center is in the geometric center of the rectangle. Placing the center of gravity a little ahead of the middle of the wing, the plane flies right. We have increased the area of the rudder, so that it exerts a greater moment of force in the turns. The height is 30 cm and the width is 15 cm. We have mounted the ailerons, each one has is 33 cm long and 9 cm wide. EVA rubber protectors have been placed on the base, to protect the structure during landings. We have also put EVA rubber protectors at the tip, to cushion possible crashes. 
The weight of this new version, with all the electronics included, is 412 grams. The new wing area, counting the ailerons, is 0.46 square meters. The wing loading is 0.9 kilograms per square meter. The aircraft is tested both outdoors and indoors. This project has been left unfinished, as the initial purpose was to build a complete 3D plane. To do this, the sides of the entire fuselage should be covered with Depron sheets, so that the plane can fly sideways. However, the project has stopped at this point because the wing loading is higher than the maximum value we expected. Therefore, we will resume a project like these later, using even lighter materials. In any case, we have verified that the plane performs easily the aerobatic maneuver of the looping, but not the rolls. If you want to use the plane for a slow flight with no aerobatics, the most suitable version for this purpose is the first one we have shown in the video, mounted with a single motor, because it has a lower wing loading. The ailerons are not necessary for this plane, because is it able to perform very tight turns using only the tail. And this is all, thanks. Hay que mezclar profundidad, timón, porque si no, no lo hace. ¿Mm? Tiene muy poco alerón. Se puede extender. Claro. El loco hizo la hace mea. El loco ya ha hecho un salto, vamos. ¿Un güey? ¿Esto tuyo, Peña? Sí. ¿Este chiquitito? Sí. El loco y lo puede hacer bajo, sin problema. Hay control sobrado. El tole no lo puede hacer bajo. ¿Por el motor no? Deriva va bastante bien. ¿Cómo? Deriva me gusta como, como vuela. Venga, mira, la deriva. Sí, se sí, gira mejor con la deriva que con los alerones. Como es plano, el oscilo se usa en la cola. No vaya a aterrizar con la mano. Estás sin batería. Aterrizar. Sale para acá que te voy a coger despacito. Tú entra allí para acá y tú muy despacito. Yo le voy a entrar por detrás. Así como tú vas, pero vete para acá, vete va. Y yo lo cojo andando. Y yo voy andando detrás. No, pero esto está muy sencillo. Lo vamos a aterrizar en la pista y ya está. Es que esto, no, no, esto con cualquier golpe se, se rompe. No, son son palillos. Y tú ves volando despacito. Que yo voy a ir corriendo y te lo voy a coger por detrás. Ves bajando. Quitando motor, jugando con el motor, jugando con el motor, jugando con el motor. ¿Estamos? Ahí, ahí. Tú tienes que jugar con el motor y yo lo toco. 